Hello there and welcome back to Zenless Zone Zero. Last time we were basically doing like a bunch of side quests and like just activities that weren't really too pertinent to the main story. We're waiting to hear from Nicole, I think, is the sort of the general vibe. And we're about to go rest on the sofa for like the second or third time in a row, pretty much. So let's see what's going on. In the Oh Sweetie drama, sleeping on the sofa is often depicted as a form of punishment. Isn't it strange, considering the sofa is actually quite comfy? In our house, this is a reward. <laughs> uh, you rest comfortably and your mind feels queer. Okay, what's next? Phone vibrating. Seems like a text message. Let's check it out. Okay. My dear old friend, to be honest, I'm a little surprised. I know you're very capable, but this is moving a bit fast, isn't it? Uh, what do you mean by fast? You still haven't realised that? That's right, we shouldn't talk about this over DMs. How about let's meet up at the old place? I'm free now. Uh, I'm not. Are you sure? I've got something pretty important to tell you. I know I like to mess around, but have I ever joked about serious biz with you before? Alright, I'll be there. I knew it. From the bottom of your heart, you still trust me. See you soon. But that kind of emoji doesn't really suit your style. Okay. Right, off to meet Shepard, I guess. Oh. That's Lucy and Piper. Lucy, look. A dog is working at that newsstand. It's so cute. I want to take a closer look. You're not usually interested in cute animals, Piper. Don't think I don't know. You just want to use it as an excuse to buy scratch cards. Sigh. Ouch. That was brutal, getting called out like that. But aren't you being a little harsh, Lucy? We finally got a chance to come to the city, after all. It's precisely because we don't come all the way here that often, we need to hurry up and purchase all the supplies the, motor the motorcade needs. I've put together a shopping list of everything we need. All we have to do is split up and buy all these things. That's weird. Half the stuff on this list is makeup. Oops, that's the wrong one. Here you go. And it's not half. Besides, the sun in the outer ring is so strong, and I'm still not used to it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I can completely understand. As for the new monkey top surprise box, the rocket popping candy and UFO chips 10-pack, that all sounds great. Stop reading. You've got too good of a memory. Anyway, don't tell Bernice about the scratch card when we get back, or she'll yard us for not taking her with us. Don't worry, I won't say a thing, and I'm just going to buy one or two. Huh. <laughs> okay. It's kind of cool. Um... So, oh yeah, there's an event going on at the moment. Um, it's like a, an arcade thing. Um, you basically just play Snake with randoms online and you get polychrome, so that's pretty cool. Uh, by the time this video goes up, it's literally not going to be relevant anymore, I don't think. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's an event that's gone on. Um, anywho, I envy you living in a great place like 6th Street. You can get coffee from this coffee cafe every day. Then you should move her. In the past, I might have moved for a mere cup of coffee, but now I lack that youthful mindset. What's the business? Ouch, you're also so direct. Doesn't seem like our relationship is a little strained. Doesn't it seem like our relationship is a little strained? You're the one who's always claiming to be busy. <laughs> then let me ask you this. You've been so fast at increasing your internet level and collecting hollow observation data as of late. Especially when it comes to collecting hollow observation data, I know you've always been good at this, but ever since you started this new account, even when you had sufficient historical data, the efficiency of calculating and collecting new data wasn't that high, right? It's always easier to beat the early stages in New Game Plus. Do you think I can't tell the difference? You could at least claim it's divine intervention. Whatever. If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. How could I have... Um... Alright, let's talk then. All right, that's fine. I'm just here to tell you that you can take a second reputation rank up trial now. Uh, you think I didn't deny it? Why are young people always overthinking things? Don't be so anxious. Of course I wouldn't be asking if I didn't trust you, nor would I badger you about things I've got no business knowing. Besides, I didn't even get anything out of it, did I? Don't worry. It's just pleasantries. I know how valuable a reliable business partner is. Let's get down to the brass tacks. Your second reputation rank-up trial in your second proxy career. 
Is this still you being polite? What are you thinking? It might not be your first time, but reputation rank-up trials are still very important. Your internet reputation level has been promoted, so now I can introduce you to some even juicier commissions. It's alright if you want me to reveal what the next one is. Let me guess, clear out ethereals? Well, it is indeed the same as last time. Clear out the ethereals, but as your rank increases, the trials will become increasingly difficult. Even someone like you will have to steal yourself. But there won't be any problems, as long as you take things seriously, right? Of course. Then I wish you smooth progress with your rank up. You can do it. Alrighty. The only problem we've got is that the further we get into the game, the more I'm going to need to level up characters that I'm not necessarily going to use, like, later on. Okay. Oh man, okay. There's like a timer on combat and stuff. Where am I going? Where am I going? Let's do this. I want a bonus for this. Yeah. Are we actually going to be able to do this in time? Because I'm not convinced right now. Oh. And then... Boom. What's next? This is what's next. Big robot. One of those, one of those, one of those. Nice, okay, this is going kind of smooth now. I'm still not convinced we can do this in time, unfortunately. Oh no, I wasted the thing. Okay, what's next? Come on. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. I thought I dodged, I but it's okay. Oh. Damn, I'm not going to be anywhere near. One of those, one of those, one of those. Try my it's no good to run 
smoldering, pudding flash! I can also become an Asura! I think we failed, unfortunately. My DPS is just not there. That took way longer. So, like, I am definitely underpowered, right? Yeah. I didn't even manage to finish it in four minutes. That's crazy. I'm getting really bad at these combat trials. I don't know. Like, I don't feel like it's anything that I can do, if you know what I mean. We have leveled our thing up. Oh, we got a boop on. Speaking of which... Let's do a temple on the bamboo thing. We have enough now. So, let's see what we get. And we got two A's. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wise, did you finish the test? You mean the promotion? Yeah, Bell told me. Completing the exam can make you more skilled and lead to better job opportunities. I'll take good care of the store and work hard, just like you guys. You're already doing great, A team. By the way, where's Bell? Uh, Bell just took a phone call and ducked out to the parking lot because she didn't want to interrupt your work. Thanks, I'll go have a look. Awesome. Uh, the. As expected, Belle is taking a call inside the parking lot. So, for the monster in the square, you're really saying Hand is going to take over the remaining investigation? Absolutely positive. We heard it firsthand, together with the Bellabog Industries people. The monster's remains will still be collected by public security, of course. But the automated evidence carrier will bring the remains to Hand once it passes through the hollow. Yeah, I get it. Hand is better than public security at investigating this kind of weird stuff. They've always had a pretty delicate relationship. That popsec officer seems decent, though. Being willing to put all that aside and hand over the case. Oh, it's getting late. I can't stay in chat. I have a client meeting scheduled later. Anyway, I'll do my best to help look for rain, so keep an eye out for some good news. Thanks, Nicole. Bye. Okay, cool. Hey, Wise. Um, so yeah, it uh, looks like the sort of the Samurai Girls faction are going to be like taking over um, from the investigation on the uh, the monster that was at the monument. Uh, right. You told Nicole about our mission. I take it that you've told Nicole about the mission to find Rain. Yeah, Nicole figured that we were related to what happened in the square, so she called to ask. I explained everything and told her about the mission to find Rain. By the way, Kaleida also called earlier to say public security confirmed the time to collect the monster's remains. I hope the collection goes smoothly. Finally. I hope the collection goes smoothly. Fingers crossed. Anyway, whether it's the investigation or the search for rain, all we can do now is wait for news. Since we don't have a lot on our plate right now, let's drop by the public security office sometime in the next couple of days. Okay, cool. Oh, are we turning ourselves oh. in? Are we turning ourselves in? Don't joke around. If Barry hadn't noticed it, there's a real chance we might have been stopped by a public security officer. Our driver's licenses are about to expire. Master, I've applied for a driver's license renewal for you and second assistant on the public security's official website. But unfortunately, the collection of the new licenses must be done in person. Okay. Let's visit their office in Lumina Square soon then, to collect our new driver's licenses. Sweet. The metro to Lumina Square is always crowded. Let's just drive there. Ooh, okay. Wise, so let's find some time soon to go to public security at Lumina Square. How about today? You're about to enter immersive storytelling, of course. Great, let's pack up and get going. 
Okay, so this is the part of the next arc, I guess. Uh, business car, Numina Square. This is one of only two more locations that we've got left to uh, to explore. I'm kind of curious about this. I want to see what's going on here. I'm actually very excited. Okay, so we have like more of a city environment. Is there meant to be music again? It seems very quiet. Right? Later, outside a parking lot near Lumina Square. Why is I've got some bad news? The parking lot is full. What? How come? Yeah, beats me. It's only afternoon. Anyways, now we have to look for another solutions. Uh, I'll go ask around. I'll count on you then. I'll be waiting here for your update. Ooh, new place. Oh, it's like big. Who are you? Ye? If you have any fun ideas, feel free to tell me. We welcome all interesting things. Uh, okay, ye. What are these? Oh, it's a Bangbury charging station. That's freaking sick. Ha! Hello, and we're going to get this. And we're also going to have a quick look around here. Nothing there. Sorry about the camera work. Got like a little play area. Which has um, a cargo truck that's gone missing for some reason. Like, what happened? Did, like, kids steal it? Is it like shopping trolleys at the supermarket? Where, like, um... <laughs> where, like, kids steal them and they just wind up in parks and stuff. Oh, busted again. Illegal parking in an alleyway. If a crime happens but nobody witnesses it, does it cease being a crime? Moreover, nothing can escape these eyes of mine, for I am the Starlight Knight. Oh, God, Billy would love her. Every fine is meant to protect. This is my duty. Take this! I was originally considering leaving the car here, but it looks like it will be slapped with a ticket by this officer soon. It's better not to take the risk. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, she's um, a Starlight Knight fan, fangirl, who, as I say, would get on very well with Billy. I actually like this. You've got like an influx of sort of NPCs coming in and out of the area as well, so it feels a little bit more alive. I think it's really cool. That's where we started. They've got a HIA here as well. Aha. Uh -huh. NEPS. Public Security Awareness Month. Okay. I'm glad that I'm doing this and I'm looking at all this stuff. I think we're walking into the police station. But that's okay. Oh my gosh, so much going on here. Lots of little officer bang boos. That looks like it's got an interior. It doesn't look very fleshed out at the moment, but I bet we'll be able to get in there at some point. Uh, cool. Right. Uh, public security bang boo. Uh, Lumina Branch of Public Security, at your service. Citizens, roadside parking is prohibited on this street. Violators will be fined. Hello, uh... Police follow traffic laws and use crossings when crossing the street. The safety of the city depends on everyone's cooperation. The Annas Court of Public Security HQ is carrying out our Public Security Safety Awareness Month events throughout the whole district. Hi, I need some help. Citizens are sincerely invited to join. For more details about the event, please say 1. For self-service payment of fines, please say 2. For Bangboo self-service, please say 9. Wait, what? 99999! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dear citizen, are you calling me? What do you need? What a terrible system. <laughs> You're looking for a nearby parking lot. Understood. Querying. Vacant parking space is currently at Lumina Square 0. Distance to nearest currently available parking space 2.1 kilometers. Thanks. Got it. You're welcome. The IT department of Lumina Branch sincerely invites you to rate our Bangboo self-service system. Uh, good job. Next time, I hope I can avoid it. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't so bad. He did well. 
It was a bit weird though how it skipped from two to nine. Uh, right. I mean, I guess the alternative is it went through all the numbers and we would have gotten very bored. Bell. Why is your back? How's everything? There are no parking spots nearby. Really? I just checked on my phone and got pretty much the same result. Two kilometers. I guess we'll just have to settle for that. Then let's get going. Okay, where are we going? Is this the final area? Ugh, oh. This is exhausting. I had no idea it'd be so hard to find a parking space here. We should have just taken the metro. Just a little longer, Bell. Hang in there, Bell. It's just another 300 meters. We haven't gotten much exercise lately, so let's just consider it a workout. You're the one who never exercises. The only time you run is when you're using Eos's body. <laughs> Speaking of things we haven't done lately, it's been ages since we had a good meal. Since that dinner with the cunning hairs, right? I knew you were complaining for a reason. All that complaining about being tired. I knew there was more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> we deserve to treat ourselves with all our hard work lately. What do you think? How about we have a meal somewhere nearby when we're done? Fine. Seeing as our profit for this month is picking up. Seeing as our profit for this month has been picking up. Sure. Hooray! You're the best. Let me see what's good around here. Uh, why is the signal so weak? What's wrong, Belle? Don't tell me it's broken. Uh oh. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you alright? Are you hurt? Bell! Uh, Bell! Are you okay? Are you injured? Uh, I'm okay. Oh, laggy. Mm, have we met somewhere before? Hmm? Have we? Sorry. I think we've mistaken you for somebody else. Uh huh. Uh huh. Huh. Okay. Mission unthinkable. A few hours later, in front of the public security Lumina branch. Ju Yuan, Ching Yi, thank you so much for your help this afternoon. If it weren't for you acting so fast, I'd probably be lying in the hospital right now. <sighs> Don't mention it. Keeping citizens safe is our duty as public security officers, and we're thankful for your cooperation. All that paperwork took some time. Uh, how's the driver doing? Any news on how the driver is doing? It's nice of you to ask. He's only got minor injuries, but he's quite shaken. He can't recall what took place before the accident. But don't worry, every problem has a solution. We'll find a way to get to the she bottom. She seems of this. a bit plain. It's late. Why don't you two head home? Feel free to contact us if you recall any further details about the accident. The, like, the twin tail girl, um, is really not what I was expecting. Like, I've obviously seen her character art. Um, oh, and even that cutscene just now, she looked a lot more dynamic. She seems very, um, almost comatose. <laughs> uh, thanks again for your help. Thanks again for your help, you two. If you pass by 6th Street in the future, be sure to visit our video store. I'll give you a free membership card. So you live on 6th Street. I expect we'll run into each other soon. Okay. Oh, what do you mean? Hold on, Ching Yi. Being vague could give the wrong impression. Here, take a look at this. It should better explain what she's talking about. Uh, a flyer from Officer Zhu Yan. It appears to be a survey for an upcoming public event hosted by public security. Doesn't the person on the front look familiar? And then, yeah, survey on the back. Okay. Um... The guy on the flyer looks familiar. The officer on the flyer looks familiar. That's Bringer, deputy commander of PubSec HQ in Janus Quarter. Ching Yi and I were actually sent to the Lumina branch temporarily by Inspector Bringer to prepare for this event. We'll be holding a big safety lecture here soon for the citizens. The two of us will be visiting nearby neighborhoods and distributing the questionnaires to encourage them to attend. Welcome to the neighborhood. I see. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. Please, keep the questionnaire. If you're interested in the seminar, you can fill in your info and give it to us when we visit 6th Street. See you again soon, managers. Okay. 
Uh, later, Zhu Yuan and Xing Yi return to the public security building. So, public security officers will be visiting 6th Street soon. That's never happened in all the time we've lived there. By the way, there's something else I want to discuss with you, Wise. It's about Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi. I wanted to discuss the same thing, whatever it is. What a coincidence. I want to discuss that too. But we shouldn't talk here. Their office is still nearby. Mm-hmm. Let's head home first. Okay. Uh, so much has happened today that I really don't feel in the mood for food. Wise, let's get dinner together some other time. I'm going to head back home. Uh, if that's what you want to do, it sounds good to me too. Hey, what's our car doing over here? Oh, Zhu Yuan got someone to help move the car here while you were getting your driver's license. Uh... That's a relief. Thanks, you've been a huge help. When I took a closer look, I discovered tons more PubSec Safety Awareness Month posters around the precinct. But when you compare it with the food tasting event at the convenience store, it's less appealing. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, into the studio and continue with the previous discussion with Belle. Yeah, I'm curious to know what's going on here. discussion about Yuan and Qing Yi. I knew you'd notice too. It's not our first time meeting them. After Bellabog called PubSec in the hollow, weren't they the officers who investigated? You were disguised as Eos at the time, so they weren't aware there was anyone apart from Bellabog Industries present. Um, luckily I didn't let Good anything slip. Give us away, or we could have been in trouble. We might bump into them again soon, so we should check the visual record of the investigation, just to be safe. Fairy, could you extract the data from back then? Fairy, could you extract the data from back then? Yes, Master. I found the footage you require. A few days ago in the Pioneer's Memorial Plaza, deep within the hollow. Thanks for your cooperation. We have a rough idea of how things unfolded. Earlier today, you all ended up deep in the hollow after the bangboo with your carrot malfunctioned. Then, you were attacked by an unknown monster right here. Is this the faulty bangboo? No. Yes, but uh, some of its parts might have been corrupted. We'll hand over a detailed repair report later. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm not sure why, but something feels different about this bang bill. It looks unusually clever. <laughs> almost cunning. Amazing. Uh, okay. Wait a sec, Jingyi. Saying things like that in front of the person filing the report might get us reported. Nah. Uh, let's put aside how they ended up in the hollow for now. Seems like Bellabog Industries has come across something quite extraordinary. Absolutely. I don't remember seeing anything with such unique traits in the records. Let me take a closer look at it. Hmm? Looks like there's something inside the crystal. Hmm. Ooh, don't touch that! <laughs> All non forensic officers are prohibited from handling evidence without proper authorization. Besides, it's too risky, even if you've undergone corruption resistance treatments. Crime scene is just up ahead. Who's that ferocious monster? I mean, the dangerous criminal. Oh, Inspector Bringer, what are you doing here? Oh, you two are in charge of the scene. But here come two elites of our criminal investigation department. <laughs> Bring the suspect over. <clears throat> Get my good side when you take the picture. I need it for the headlines tomorrow. Okay. Inspector, the suspect isn't here. They were attacked by an unknown being with high ether activity. Huh? So it was just an ethereal? No, Inspector. It had some peculiar characteristics. We suspect it to be the result of hollow mutation or the product of some type of illegal activity. Hold, hold on. You see now, Ju Yuan. It's good to be vigilant as a public security officer, but the election is just around the corner. If we reveal the presence of an unknown monster in the hollows at this stage, my election 
Uh, I mean, the citizens will be put in fear. Public security shouldn't make any hasty announcements. You must investigate the matter thoroughly first. Rest assured, we've requested the collected evidence be given to hand for expert analysis. We're confident we'll soon be able to... What? It's being given to hand? <clears throat> I mean, you did the right thing. Still, let our forensics team handle the evidence collection. <laughs> so he basically just wants the credit. He doesn't want to hand it over. That's quite funny. So he's like... He, he basically is like almost like a poster boy, I guess. He just like wants to like get all of the commendations and be like the number one kind of dude. Um, even though he seems like he's maybe a bit of a mess. Hmm? You two have always been my trusted aides. So I have a very important task for you. Uh, in the workshop, the footage of the investigation is played to the end. It's clearly a very unique ether active being. Yet Inspector Bringer wasn't interested in the slightest. At least he didn't say no to giving over the evidence to hand. Oh, now I get it. The important task Inspector Bringer mentioned is the seminar at the Lumina branch. What's so special about this seminar that he has to send Ju Yuan and Ching Yi to manage it? Fairy, are you able to bring up any related info? Fairy, are you able to bring up any info related to the seminar? I'm running a search on keywords. Lumina Square and Public Security Safety Awareness Month. There are several relevant articles by multiple media companies. I shall read them. Given the recent surge in major incidents within the city this month and aiming to safeguard urban security while enhancing public awareness, Janus District Public Security has decided to launch the Public Security Safety Awareness Month across the entire district. To provide citizens with practical information, Public Security has assigned several officers from the Criminal Investigation Department to assist in planning the event. Mr. Bringer, Commanding Officer of the District Headquarters and the driving force behind the event, will also be in attendance at the seminar, which is to take place at the Lumina branch. Along with the other officers in charge, Inspector Bringer will conduct a media interview during the event to address any concerns citizens may have. So, it's not just Inspector Bringer attending the seminar, but a bunch of media representatives as well. You hear that, Wise? Ju Yuan and Qing Yi will participate in the interview, too. Must be quite the honor for a public security officer, right? What do you think about this seminar? Um, I think this intro is a little long-winded. That's what I think. <laughs> um, should we go and support them? <laughs> we don't have anything going on right now, and they did help us twice. So we really should go show our support. Okay, it's decided then. We'll tell Ji Yuan and Ching Yi we'd like to attend the event when they come to 6th Street in a few days. Uh, besides the participants' name and address, the public security questionnaire includes a few general questions on security. If you aren't really interested, I'll go ahead and fill it up for you too. I knew you'd understand. Oh, it says here that citizens who participate in the event can draw a prize based on the survey ID on the day of the lecture, and the prize is going to be a videotape. What videotape? Major traffic accidents of New Eridu. Net of justice, no escape. Hollow safety is important. I should have known. I get the feeling that PubSec ordered too many copies. It's just an add-on to the event anyways. Anyway, just leave the survey to me. It's getting late wise, so let's get some rest. I mean like, you know, we want more videotapes, so... Uh, I'm heading upstairs then. See you tomorrow. Okay. Get a good, got a good night's sleep. The next few days are busy with organizing the shelves and re recommending videos to the customers. Then... Why, you asked about Zhu Yuan and Xing Yi? What a coincidence. I was just about to tell you. I heard from Fairy that she's been seeing Zhu Yuan and Xing Yi around since yesterday. I've already filled out the questionnaire they gave me earlier. Whenever you have the time, we can go find them. Um, how long have I got? We've got a little bit of time. Let's go now. Alright, Fairy said she saw Zhu Yuan and Xing Yi heading, handing out questionnaires near the metro station. Let's go find them. Let's look. We've got time, so let's do it. Oh man. 
I'm really enjoying the back and forth in this uh, in this game at the moment. Like um, the general like day to day life is a lot of fun. Um, I think the daily like grind isn't really much of a grind, which is really nice. Like uh, you can accomplish all of the tasks to get your dailies done within like five minutes. Um, you don't really even have to do combat if you're in a rush, which is like awesome. So like I've been logging in on days when I've been busy and just sort of like doing five minutes and then just switching off again. Um, and then obviously I can have longer play sessions when I've actually got the time, which is, uh, yeah, super fun. Um, right, let's figure out what's going on. Criminal cases have been rampant lately. To raise safety awareness among citizens, Janice Quarter Public Security has launched the Safety Awareness Month campaign. We'll be holding a seminar at the Lumina Branch soon. Please come and join us if you have time. A public security event? Oh, how nostalgic. I participated in such an event years ago, you see. It was somewhat reminiscent of a coffee tasting event. I even had the chance to offer everyone present some freshly ground coffee. Albeit, it wasn't a top shelf roast. Oh, it's a shame public security's facilities now smell of air fresheners everywhere. No longer suitable places for enjoying coffee while freely conversing. Um, what do you mean? Of course, while fine wines develop into richer experiences with time, other worthy items can go bad. Oh, I'm talking of coffee beans. <laughs> so, to prevent the coffee beans at my shop from facing a sorrowful fate, I have to go grind them properly. I'm afraid I can't make the event. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Enzo, according to our data, you're running a remodeling shop on 6th Street. Would you be interested in attending the seminar? Well, hey, it's not often I get invited out by two young ladies, so I'd love to join you. Unfortunately, my second aunt's grandfather's son's cousin is getting married that <laughs> day. I can't miss such an important family event. So no oh, one's going to show up. <laughs> in that case, I hope your relative has a great wedding. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I have a customer coming soon to collect his car. I better get back to it. Okay. Good morning, Ju Yuan, Ching Yi. Good morning, Wise, Bell. Here's our questionnaires. Here are our questionnaires. We've decided to attend the seminar. Wonderful. If it weren't for you two, we wouldn't have recruited a single participant yet. Ching Yi! That's blunt. So what? It's the truth. Besides, it's not like they're strangers, right? Yeah, right. But how come nobody on 6th Street wants to go to the seminar? Everyone here is usually pretty welcoming. So I'm guessing the idea is that she is kind of, uh, she has trouble displaying emotion and things like that. And maybe doesn't read a room very well. I think that's maybe the character they're going for with her. Um, it does come across as a little bit lifeless, but um, I'm open to it evolving, so... Uh, is there anything we can do? Is there anything we can do to help? Now that you mention it, there is something I'd like to ask you. Some of the residents on 6th Street only registered their names, but didn't fill in their addresses. Do you know where they live? Oh, let me see. Asha, General Chop... Spike should be one of our members, an older gentleman. We know all these people. We can take the questionnaires to them. How about we help you take the questionnaires to them? That's a good idea. Sixth Street doesn't usually have much interaction with public security. So if they see officers handing stuff out all of a sudden, they might be wary and refuse. If it's a neighbor who brings them the questionnaire, maybe they'll be more open to it. We wouldn't want to trouble you. It's no big deal. No worries. It's no big deal. Ju Yuan, since they're willing, we should let them help. Okay, thank you, really. Let's split up and meet back here later then. Sweet. Uh, we have to go find Asha, General Chop, and Spike and give them the public security survey. Asha and General Chop should be at their stores right about now, right? As for Spike, he left his address when he registered as a member at the store. The fairy's going to send it over. Okay, nice, so we only have to do two. Um, I'm curious to hear this. Hello there, citizen. Could you please take a look at this survey? Public Security is hosting a lecture on safety at the Lumina branch. Feel free to attend if you're interested. 
Oh, it's just a lecture. Don't you guys do exercises like confronting bad guys and stuff like that? Uh, sorry, I'm afraid it's just a lecture for now. Tch, sounds boring. You won't consider doing an exercise? I could play a corpse. I've been great at holding my breath ever since I was young. Uh, the exercise at public the exercises at public security aren't anything like filming a movie. You don't need to hold your breath or anything. Just lie still and don't move. Ah, so you do agree to change the lecture into an exercise. Heh, <laughs> looks like I played myself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Um, sweet, let's... I bet everyone's going to be busy. <laughs> Hello, you two. It's been a while since I saw you both at the arcade together. Are you here to play some matches? Not today, Asha. We're here for something else today. Uh, could you take a look at this survey? Oh, are you researching new movie genres to stock in your store? It's actually a public security survey. Ah, uh, don't tell me you guys got busted by PubSec, and now you're doing community service? Were you selling pirate videotapes or burning illegal discs, or... Is that how you see us? Ha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. There are just too many secretive residence on 6th Street, and you siblings give off a somewhat mysterious vibe. I wouldn't be surprised if I found out one day you were the number one most wanted on public security's most wanted list. Uh, that's about right. You tell Asher about the public security survey. I see. You're just helping an officer, you know. Well, as long as you're okay, that's what matters. Actually, last time I was at Luminous Square, I saw public security had set up promotional booths. I heard that on the day of the lecture, lots of media outlets will be in the town conducting interviews. It seems like public security is really putting a lot of effort into the exchange event. It might be worth checking out, don't you think? Exchange event? That might be the case for regular citizens like you and me, but for some people, it could mean something entirely different. Some people? Nothing. I was just mumbling to myself. Anyways, thanks for bringing the survey over, but unfortunately I don't really have time for that afternoon. That afternoon. Please pass that on to the officers for me. Eh. Yeah, we're going to be the only ones going. That is a fact. Right, where are we going now? What is this? Am I even going the right way? Apparently I am. Spike should live here. Try ringing the doorbell. Ding. Done, salespeople. It never ends. I've said it time and time again, I've got no teeth, so I don't need your electric toothbrush. Uh, what? Not the toothbrush? Well then, I've got no hair, so I don't need your darn curling iron either. Spike, were the managers from Random Play? Uh, oh, the video store. One moment. Soon after, the door finally opens. Oh, both of you came out. He does have teeth, and he has hair. <laughs> this man's a liar. Oh, both of you came out. How many videotapes have we forgotten to return this time? I'm sorry, my memory is short. I'm old. <laughs> no, no, we're here for something else. Uh, could you please take a look at this survey? Hmm, now that's an unsettling face. That bringer lad, isn't it? Sorry, my eyesight's not what it used to be. I can read the words clearly. Could you young... I can't read the words clearly. Could you youngsters read it for me? Uh, you tell Spike about the security event. Hmm, for the sake of urban security and the safety of us residents, that sounds lovely. They really cared about the res if they really cared about the residents, they wouldn't be chasing around after proxies. In the end, all the benefit is just for tops. Thank you both for bringing the survey over, but as you can see, these legs of mine aren't stable, so I don't really want to go wandering off as far as Luna Square. Could you please tell the officers? Uh-oh. I had a bad feeling from the moment Asha spoke. Sure enough, Spike refused as well, and they were clearly hinting at something. General Chop's the only one left. I'm not sure if General Chop is back yet or not. Let's go take a look. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Hello, Wise. Bell? Some customers mentioned you were looking for me. I understand you're helping those two officers from Public Security hand out questionnaires? So you already know. So, you already know. <laughs> one of the perks of running a store on the street is being well informed. Anyway, please tell the officers I have other things to tend to that day. Of course. <sighs> I knew it. I had a feeling General Chop would say no before we even got here. 
And after I told Ju Yuan and Ching Yi we could help. Oh, have other people said no too? Yeah. Asha, Spike. Oh, and I think Tin Master and Enzo said no this morning too. Is there something going on? Is there something going on? It's no big secret. It's just um, some of us older residents on 6th Street know some things you're not aware of. Do you two know who the guy on the questionnaire cover is? Isn't that Inspector Bringer? I heard he came up with the event. Then have either of you heard of the Hollow Hero from the Eridu period? Nope. I've never heard of it. Well, for a while back then, that's what the residents called Bringer. Before the fall of the old capital, Bringer happened to be the commanding officer in my precinct. After being promoted from the front line, despite being an inspector, he still got involved at the ground level and interacted with the residents, so they regarded him highly. Then, he went missing in a hollow during a rescue mission. But just when everyone thought he was done for, he miraculously made it back out. Just like that, he became known as the Hollow Hero. He was then transferred to the HQ in Janice Quarter and quickly advanced to the ranks over the years. Okay. That's a pretty inspiring story. It used to be. But these days, people say the Hollows have drained the Hollow Hero of all his courage. Now, Bringer presents himself as a hard worker, but... We older residents can see through it. Okay. He's just putting on an act in front of So the they, they realize he's a phony Once kind more, of thing. In recent years, he's clearly been cozying up to tops. He's implemented a number of measures under the guise of benefiting the Right, public. okay. But it's those big corporations that benefit in the end. He's aiming for commander of Janus Quarter in the upcoming municipal election. Launching a safety campaign right now, even putting his own image on the questionnaire. His motives are pretty clear, don't you think? Uh, seems like he's trying to advertise himself. Sounds like Inspector Bringer is trying to advertise himself through the seminar. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. Holding the seminar is a good thing, but I can't go knowing what Bringer is up to. Thanks okay. for telling us all this, General Chop. I'm just sorry I can't be of help this time around. Well, we visited all the neighbors. It might be awkward, but it's probably time we go back and tell Ju Yuan and Ching Yi the news. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm about to run out of time, so we are going to have to stop it here. Um, this has been a cool one. We got introduced to two of the characters that I'm probably going to be pulling for. They're both uh, S-rank agents, so I don't know what my odds are of being able to get both of them. Uh, especially given that I also want an A-rank agent that's coming out in the banner after that, so... Eesh. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to afford all of this, because um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have enough currency to get them, but we'll... maybe I'll get lucky. It would be, uh, be good if we could. Um, yeah, no, this has been a good one. Uh, new places, new characters... Um, yeah. Did we even do any combat this... Uh, this episode i feel like we didn't it's just all been conversation right um either way um thank you very much for watching i'll catch you in the next one farewell